Modern horror movies often go overlooked, but from time to time, a spectacularly terrifying film takes the public by storm. Perhaps 2017 is a year that happens again, and any number of the following horror movies could do it. Here are all of the horror movies that will blow everyone away in 2017. Split this could be the year that M. Night Shyamalan's career experiences a renaissance, and after flops like The Last Airbender, he really needs it. His latest film, Split, is loosely inspired by the true story of Billy Milligan, the first person to be acquitted of a major crime because of his multiple personality disorder. Filmmakers have been trying to bring Milligan's story to life on the big screen for years, and now Shyamalan is making it happen. James McAvoy, still bold from X-Men Apocalypse, stars as Kevin, who suffers from dissociative identity disorder order in what could be a long-awaited return to form for Shyamalan. Resident Evil The Final Chapter Mila Jovovich is back for the long-awaited final installment in the Resident Evil movie series. Despite falling victim to the video game movie curse, the franchise continues to turn a profit and will likely do so again with Resident Evil The Final Chapter. In this ultimate installment, releasing in late January, Alice and her band of survivors will make their final stand against the Umbrella Corporation and the undead in the dreaded Raccoon City. We're five movies and over 20 games deep, so why stop now? Rings Over a decade after The Ring 2 was released in the theaters, mommy. Not your mommy. Paramount is bringing it back for a third installment, simply titled Rings, which takes place 13 years after the events of the first movie. Since VHS isn't really a thing anymore, it's now a digital video that will kill you in seven days, which is pretty much the worst computer virus ever. Do you want to destroy humans? Please say no. Okay, I will destroy humans. <laughs> no, I take it back. <laughs> Don't destroy humans. The twist? There's a part of the deadly video that no one's seen until now, so expect completely new levels of chaos and even more drippy horror children on February 3rd. A cure for wellness. You might not expect a horror movie from the guy who directed Rango, but Gore Verbinski is going back to his horror roots with his next film, A Cure for Wellness. On February 17th, he's turning the tables and making a psychological horror starring Dane DeHaan and the naturally terrifying Mia Goth. The film follows DeHaan's Mr. Lockhart as he attempts to retrieve his company's CEO and escape from a mysterious wellness center in the Swiss Alps. Of course, this isn't a feel-good film about getting one's groove back, and the wellness center doesn't really have its customers customer's best interests at heart, so psychological terror ensues. Get out! Get out! Sorry, man. <laughs> Get out! Yo! <laughs> Marking the directorial debut of comedian Jordan Peele, best known for Comedy Central's Key and Peele, Get Out follows an interracial couple as they visit a town where black residents have begun to go missing. Starring Daniel Kaluuya, Alison Williams, Katherine Keener, and Erica Alexander, Get Out is being produced by Blumhouse Productions, who rarely makes bad horror movies. Just look at their slate. Paranormal Activity, Insidious, The Purge, and Sinister are just some of their iconic films. Moving from comedy acting to horror directing is a big leap, but early buzz surrounding this film's February 24th release is all positive. Personal Shopper Though she'll always be best known as Twilight's Bella Swan, Kristen Stewart continues to make a name for herself in numerous independent films. Next up is the French-made psychological thriller Personal Shopper, which follows Stewart as Maureen, who's employed as a personal shopper for a German model. The twist? When she's not buying stuff for pretty people, she's trying to contact her dead brother Louis. Where those two things meet is anyone's guess, but surprisingly, the film earns the Best Director Award at the 2016 Cannes Film Festival. The film gets a wide release on March 10th. Alien Covenant Featuring the return of Michael Fassbender and featuring Catherine Waterson, Billy Crudup, and Danny McBride. Director Ridley Scott is finally bringing his Prometheus sequel, Alien Covenant, to theaters this year. This isn't to be confused with a new Alien film, stuck in development hell since 2002 and directed by Neil Blomkamp, which is supposedly following later. We're still in pre-Alien continuity here. Although Scott's original idea was to explore the mysteries left and answered in Prometheus with Numi Rapaz, Turning as Elizabeth Shaw, things have taken a different turn. Instead of directly following the events of Prometheus, Alien Covenant will follow a new crew aboard a new ship, whose path will intersect with the survivors of the Prometheus. Meet the new Xenomorphs on May 19th. The Mummy 
Even Universal Pictures is climbing aboard the Cinematic Universe train. Since they don't have a catalogue of comic book properties they can sift through, they're mounting their shared universe around the iconic monsters that made them a worldwide brand, beginning with Alex Kurtzman's The Mummy on June 9th. Starring Tom Cruise, Sophia Botella, and Russell Crowe as Dr. Henry Jekyll, The Mummy ignores the delightful campiness of Brendan Fraser's previous Mummy trilogy, and instead brings the film back to its horror roots. The new film also takes the franchise in a new direction by setting it in the present day and featuring a new mummy. Taking down Imhotep three times was more than enough. Amityville – The Awakening the June 30th release of Frank Colfin's Amityville The Awakening will mark the 18th movie based on the haunted house since the series' inception in 1979. Each installment in the Amityville franchise just adds to the weird continuity nightmare, which has been played with prequels, pre-sequels, and an occasional lawsuit. You probably know what to expect with the new Amityville chapter. A single mother and her three kids unknowingly move into the infamous 112 Ocean Avenue house, and terror ensues. Worst realtor ever. You should always put bleeding walls in the listing. Some people might even like that kind of thing. Make the walls bleed. No. Hey man, we own you. Let's see some blood. I don't have to entertain you. Come on man, do it. Do the blood thing. Come on, do it. Do it, do it, do it. Annabelle 2. In 2013, The Conjuring surprised audiences by effectively reinventing age-old scare tactics, and was popular enough to warrant a spin-off. That movie? Annabelle, focused on the origins of the terror doll made famous by the original. Now, Annabelle is becoming its own horror series, because honestly, she's pretty freaking scary. The new installment follows a nun and a group of young girls who move into a dollmaker's home. And because it's a horror film, it's the same house in which the dollmaker's daughter died 20 years prior. Annabelle finds a fresh set of new victims on August 11th. It Hollywood loves adapting Stephen King's works. A miniseries based on the novel It aired on television in 1990, starring Tim Curry as Pennywise. But that just wasn't enough for fans of Nightmare Clowns. A cinematic version of It is due to hit theaters on September 8th. But because of production challenges and a change in director, the production's original star, Will Poulter, will no longer be playing Pennywise. His replacement, Bill Skarsgård, seems pretty terrifying, but he's got some big Tim Curry-sized shoes to fill. Excuse me, sir. Do you have Prince Albert in a can? You do? Well, you better let the poor guy out. <laughs> Flatliners. Years before Joel Schumacher destroyed Batman, he brought Peter Falardi's science fiction horror film Flatliners to the silver screen. The film follows five medical students as they voluntarily subject themselves to near-death experiences in order to discover what lies in the afterlife. Now, 27 years later, a sequel is in the works, also titled Flatliners, starring Ellen Page, Diego Luna, and Nina Dobrev, with Kiefer Sutherland returning from the original movie. A plot summary hasn't been released yet, but you can expect a whole lot of almost dying, and maybe a little bit of actual dying too, on September 29th. Friday the 13th Warner Brothers originally commissioned a Friday the 13th sequel in 2009, but the studio cancelled the project before relinquishing the rights to Paramount Pictures so they could co-produce Christopher Nolan's Interstellar. Fans were disappointed, but Paramount immediately began working on their own Friday the 13th movie. According to reports, the new film will be an origin story featuring the return of Jason's mother, and was reportedly almost some deranged version of Days Unconfused meets Jason, as if this wasn't creepy enough. That's what I love about these high school girls, man. I get older, they stay the same age. <laughs> What's more, this will be the 13th installment in the Friday the 13th franchise, which will also release on Friday the 13th this October. Insidious Chapter 4 James Wan is truly the modern master of horror, having created the Saw, Conjuring, and Insidious franchises. Today, he's directing things like Furious 7 and DC's upcoming Aquaman film. But despite his exit from the Insidious franchise, it continues to prosper. So much that Film District ordered a fourth installment to be directed by Adam Robitel, and written by franchise co-creator Lee Wenau. Not much is known about the film at this time, except for its strategic October release date. Saw Legacy 
When the Saw franchise began in 2004, one installment was released every year until 2010, and then nothing. Now, seven years later, it's back for one last chapter with Saw Legacy, directed by the Spirit Brothers. So, why are they bringing Saw back after all these years? The filmmakers originally intended Saw 3D to be the final installment in the long-running franchise. However, when Saw 6 underperformed at the box office, Lionsgate approved one more movie, which hindered the filmmakers' plans and left the franchise of an uns satisfactory twist and more questions than answers. Saw Legacy, releasing on October 27th, will hopefully answer some of those lingering mysteries, as well as reinvent the franchise. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.